Hey guys, guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to try to get one of the best monsters right now for free through the breeding event, and that is Malzerk. So I'm missing this monster, and I've been trying to get it for the past few days, and no luck. But today, we're going to keep trying. Hopefully, 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 we get it in this video. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. Now this is one of many monsters I'm actually missing in this era. So this era, I actually kind of skipped over this monster. It's good. The reason why I skipped over it is because I didn't want to spend $100. Although I could have spent like 50 bucks or even like 15 or 20 bucks just for like a rank zero or a rank three. But like at the same time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it eventually because it, all these monsters that you see in the game eventually become free to play. Even I feel like the, the Walking Dead monsters eventually, eventually they'll actually come out free to play as well. Right now, obviously, for a while, they're going to stay pay to win. Um, they'll be behind the paywalls, obviously. Uh, they came out once, and when they came out, you were able to grab it. And if you did grab, like, a rank zero or something, you actually have the chance to, like, I guess, get the extra cells or whatever, rank the monsters up in this shop right here, the era portal. But I'm sure eventually they'll actually release it free to play. It'll come out. Kind of with, like, how they did with Lord Pumpseed. So, anyways, what we're going to do... It's gonna, we're going to actually check the, check out this reading event. And as you guys can see, I've actually tried it multiple times already. Uh, but like I said, no luck. I've, been, I've just been getting a lot of obsidians, um, all the other monsters that uh, also comes with this breeding. So I'm going to hash this because it's a legendary. Might as well. Or I could have just sold it because I already have the monster. But if you take a look at the breeding event right now, Rasilka is available up for grab. Malzerk, Loronian, Jingle Hell, George Lotto, and many other mythics. And the only one that's actually worth it I would say is Malzerk. Malzerk is the only one that's really good. Although Loronian is okay if you want to pick up Loronian for maybe Team Wars. The metal element against like light monsters, you probably run it as an attacker for offense. Uh, even though it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a support monster, but you can technically use it as an attacker against like light monsters. You like good amount of damage. Now, this right here, we're gonna try to yeah, Malzerk obviously. I'm I have all four monsters, so I can technically use maybe two of the breeding. Here we do it. Might as well because it's only five minutes from that. So, um, actually, wait, we might not be able to do it. Yeah, I don't know if I have two Pixillions. Do I have two Pixillions? Um, maybe, maybe not. Actually, the fastest way to do it, I was going to search it up, but I think the fastest way to do it is just breed it like this. And then figure this out right here. Go to breeding events and breed it. Go here, breed. Uh, okay, there it is. I only have one. Just one. So, a day and eight hours, that gives us a mythic or legendary, one of the two. We're about to find out right here. Six hours and 35 minutes. Speed it up. Oh my god, we got obsidians again. All right, so let me show you guys real quick my breeding log. Right about, I would say here, right? This is where I started. So I, my first, my initial attempt was obsidian. That's what I got. And then I got Nox. Then I got Lyria, right? So three different ones. And then eventually they gave me obsidian and they gave me obsidian again and obsidian. So I have on four obsidians and three in a row, actually. Kind of. Yeah, actually three in a row, I would say. If you ignore this, because this is technically a different combo. Breeding combo, and so, so is this one. So, obviously this isn't like a permanent breeding. That's why I'm trying to take advantage of it right now. That's why I'm sending gems. Uh, because I really want to sponsor it. And I believe I have a good amount of Corellia saved up. So I can technically max this monster out once I get it. I might actually do it, because this is one of the few that are actually worth it in this era. They didn't release too many good ones. The only nice monster they released was Darman Santa, which was technically a cop and paste. So if you have the original Darman, you're still good, but there's better stats, obviously, with an NER skill. Uh, then we got Malzerk, pretty good. And although Turtle's okay, Sky Cold, one of the best ones I feel like they released. And they didn't really release too many good ones, I feel like. They did eventually release Wooder, which is actually not bad. It's Siri, or whatever, Hister, Hister I, Hysteric Easter. That's how you pronounce it. Um, the Easter monster. That one's actually good with the ancestral monster, but besides that, Ion V2 was pretty good. So they kind of finished it off kind of nicely near the end. Like these three monsters right here that they released, actually four of them, all four were nice. And then they kind of like went downhill right here too near the end. But this as well is not bad either. Same with Queen Talisa. You know, there are some use in them. Uh, there's Serginia as well, which is really good. Uh, I think Runehorn was actually another one. No, never mind. I take that back. I take that back. All right. So yeah, I might actually just invest all the 9,000 that I have in that. Let's go ahead and breed this again. Wait, what if we use this instead? Maybe maybe we have better chances. I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's see. Bam. 
Oh no, we got patient cyber. I didn't even know that was one of the combos. What? So Oh wow, all four of them are. And I'm assuming all four are also for all the other ones. Interesting. I like I see the way that they kinda like that that that. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and go back with Lord Maltus instead of the other one. We're gonna spend the two gems here, sell this. And we're gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna try just one last time. How's that? Just 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 one last time. What 33 gems? 33 gems? Are you kidding me? Why is it so high? Alright, I'll just do it once. How's that? Just just once. I uh, might as well just go and hatch it because I spent 33 gems on it. Yay, whatever. Okay, so let's try it one last time. This is literally my last time trying this. And if I don't get it, I'm gonna be upset. Let's see if it's gonna be the mythic. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, man. You really have to do me like that? Alright, hold on. I do want to check the... Three days. I still have three days. So I might be able to try... I'll actually be able to try four more times. So we'll, we'll try again. Um, Soon. We'll try again. But right now, I'm not going to spend any more gems because... We're going to go broke. We're going to go broke if we keep trying. Can we try one more time? One last time. Just, 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 just last, last, last time. All right, this is gonna be the last time. No more, I promise. All right, this is gonna be our last, last attempt. I knew out. If I knew I was gonna get that, I wasn't gonna try. They give me the same thing again. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. We got Larry, Larry again. We got Nox, Patient Cyber, Obsidian, another Obsidian, another Obsidian. We got Larry again. Nox, we got Obsidian, oh my gosh, it's just, yeah, no, we're not going to try no more time. We try one more time, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> nah, no, that was way too many gems. I could just save up the 200 something gems and wait till the Monster Week comes up. I think the Monster is probably out in the Monster Week, I'm not sure if there's one going on right now. Oh, there is one going on right now. Ah, it's just Galactic Monsters. There's only Galactic and the remaining, none of the New Era Monsters, okay. Never mind then. Eventually it'll come out in a uh what should I call it? What is the other one? Black Friday. I'm sure that'll come out very soon. But that's probably gonna be with the new era monsters actually. Or maybe they might actually mix it up a little bit, I'm not sure. But anyways, this monster week is pretty interesting, right? This this looks quite interesting. Uh they do have basically a mix of all eras except the new ones. The two new ones, which is this one and this one. So they don't have these two, but they have from Galactic all the way down. I do want to check the shop to see which monsters, because I'm sure some of you guys actually want to know which ones are actually worth investing in. So I guess we, we can go ahead and take a look at them. Lamoon is worth investing in. So is K9, so is Voltaic. Actually, the first four right here, the first four are worth investing in, all, all four of them. Um, the ones that I kind of like just ignore, you should ignore as well, because they're not really that insanely good. Tom Adibus is okay. He's he's actually not bad for team wars, I would say, for defense and offense. Our Piker is okay. It's not the best. The grind is better. Maybe Sonic's actually pretty good for defense, I would say. Or team wars defense. Or PvP defense, but especially team wars. Rossi is a pretty good tank. So is Kanaker. Kanaker is actually a pretty good attacker for Bouncy Hunt and uh, team wars. Or maybe even PvP if you want to run to PvP. Dragbite's not bad either. Jarmian Sanchez is actually one of the best supporters, I would say. Uh, Luthien's okay. Cold Boy's not bad either if you need a water tank. Robotito's actually pretty good, I would say. Uh, if you want to invest in that one, that one's good. New car is good for this one book right here, the Villains book. Um, so if you want to pick it up for that. Bots Rex is not bad either if you want to pick it up. It's also pretty good. Uh, Prospero's good for defense for Team Wars. And same with Zarkane. And Graphitron is also pretty good for defense for Team Wars. So any Team War warriors watching this video take notes grateful tad's really good for pvp and team wars literally everywhere pretty good tank device is pretty good for team wars so it's serpentix is a good everywhere still king adam is really good nine is also pretty worth investing in these two are good actually all three of these right here all three of these are really good uh duke is pretty good too slav is slav is okay for like as a tank uh volcanics is also pretty good i would say 
It's not bad. Firepool is pretty good. So Talica. And I would say that's pretty much it. I don't think anybody wants to know about the other ones, but Boulder is also pretty good. Uh, obviously, my opinion is still the same for all the Dune monsters. I think the, all the Dune monsters that used to be meta are still meta, and they're still good. They're still worth investing in. So if you want to worth in, uh, if you want to invest in, for example, Ural, you can do that. Uh, Viral Demon Slayer is still pretty good. So is Cupid. Lord and Hater, not so much. Raris, Raris is okay now. I feel like Galvanus is still pretty good. Raris, I mean. I don't know i mean there's just faster monsters now you know what i mean monsters that will outspeed this denier so you see i'm not saying he's like bad or anything he's good but he's just not as insanely good as he used to be maybe i'm still good those Elfira, and there's many more obviously but uh I, I don't think many of you guys have that many gems to like spend on all the monsters that i just went ahead and mentioned so pick up all the monsters from let's say galactic era first invest in those first and then move on to the other eras uh, but anyways, so unfortunately not the best luck for today's video where I spent all the gems to get myself, you know, one of the monsters I'm missing and one of the best in my opinion. Uh, but I'll keep trying in a day or two when this is up, when this is all done and see if I can actually get myself that monster because I really need it. Uh, I will do a review on the PvP monster very soon because I'm sure many of you guys want to know if it's, if this monster is actually good or not, if it's worth investing in. So I'll make sure... To upload that but that's going to be pretty much it thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out